some of the same stuff going on. That's, that's easy. What I want to talk about today is identifying with the woman herself. Um, I would imagine um, that, well, if I put myself in her position, I, honestly, many times, the first layer of, of, their, of realizing there's nobody, nobody's going to judge me, that's, that's one thing. But I think I often miss what Jesus says next, neither do I condemn you. And I imagine this woman um, holding her rock as well. And so, one by one, each, each of the accusers has, has dropped their rock and left. But, but I imagine her still holding on to her rock. That's, that's the image that I get because that's my reality sometimes. And it's the reality of, of some of the friends, you know, some of my friends that I hang out with and do life and talk beneath the surface with. Um, and it, it, I don't know exactly where it comes from, but there's some sort of responsibility that, that if nobody else is going to hold us accountable, then we've got to do it ourselves. And it's really hard to trust in the grace of, of, of Jesus. After all these years, I still don't get that. So I hold on to the rock. Sometimes I keep myself from bang, banging my own head with it, but I, I hold on just in case that has to happen because I want to be the one to, to punish myself. Um, I don't know where that comes from. I, 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 don't know, I don't know what to tell you know, my friends when they, when they deal with some of the same issues, um, but I do know that it's good to be constantly and regularly challenged with the idea of unmerited favor grace that's, that's just a pure gift from, from Jesus who is God made flesh and who tells us, tells us and shows us what God is really like. So that's, that's where I'm, that's where I continue to wrestle and I think it's a good, a good fight to continue. You better to keep the record of my wrongs right down to the letter. Mm -hmm. No one can reach me past my facade. Oh, oh. 